uh, we're here. Question of the week. You can email us or you can voicemail us. There's the number right there on the screen. Right there somewhere. And that's Dustin Starr. He stepped in to answer a couple of questions of the week. First question from longtime fan, D-R-O. He's a longtime fan of TNA wrestling. Uh, he thinks Memphis wrestling's missing a championship for the smaller wrestlers on the roster. What are your thoughts on the addition of an X division or a cruiserweight title in Memphis? Well, there are a few people within the organization that would like to have a light heavyweight championship. One has even been designed. It's been drawn up, but the only thing preventing it from happening is me because I feel like that we don't need another championship. If you guys are looking for a, I don't, I don't even want to call it a mid card championship, but a, like another championship, it's the internet championship. And if you don't think that the, your favorite wrestlers are able to beat the gun show or beat Tim Bosby, then they need to step up and do something different because you don't just create championships because you don't want your champions to drop the belts. And so that's my viewpoint on it. I do see the positive aspect of having a light heavyweight champion. Um, it does have to be something special. You know, you have your Blake Christians, your Kerry Mortons, Vikingos, and just all sorts of really spectacular light heavyweights. that would be really cool, like to feature them coming in. Um, but you have the Memphis Heritage Championship, you have the Women's Championship, you have the Tag Team Championships, you've got the Internet Championship, you have a Cobra Cup, you also have a Trios rings that you give out every year. I mean, why do we I need like, another I like, one? Yeah, I like the idea of – here's my deal with Cruiserweight. I don't like lightweight or Cruiserweight because – it kind of the X division could go to anyone. It's just like the internet belt because right. the cruiserweight then puts, say Ray Ray for instance. Say we book Ray Ray as a cruiserweight champion. What what about the Heritage title? Is he not a heavyweight? Can he not? So that's why I get stuck on cruiserweight. You paint yourself into a corner, regardless, yeah, yeah. because because like you say, Ray Ray Sanders is a prime example. I mean, he's a guy that that could easily be a light heavyweight champion. He's a tag team champion. He could be an internet champion. Who's to say that he couldn't get on fire and some sort of story puts him across the ring from the gun show. He could win that. Exactly. Exactly. But we won't have a title. Yeah, he's pigeonholed yeah. into that weight bracket and that's it. It's really hard to come out of that weight bracket once you make it. So it has on been on a second hand, on a second hand, the, but it just hasn't, the trigger hasn't been pulled yet. Yeah. And on a second hand, the title also, the, the way that, uh, TK looks at, at it in AEW is the title gives you a story for that match. So that's the reason you see a lot more titles in a place like, uh, cause he, he loves the idea of having a match on television or somewhere where there's titles on the line. So you do understand, but we do thank you for that. It was question of the week from DRO and there's the phone number, the email, send us in question of the week. 